security gigs whenever, I guess, you know? He sounds like a great worker, dude. Oh my god. All right. Well, I hope you guys got time, because we got one more comic left. How are we feeling, right? It's not bedtime yet, right? We're still good? We're still good? I love it. All right, so check it out. This next comic, right? He's really gracing us tonight. This guy headlines at AC Joke Club, AC Comedy Club. He's all over the place, all right? You can follow him on Instagram, Comedian Mel Harris. Also, he's the bearded one, so everybody give it up for Mel Harris! Somebody's like, there's James Harden. It's not him. It's not him. He had to work last night. I, uh, I'll make this quick. My son's in the car. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not. Anybody from Worsham? Anybody from Worsham? Anybody? No? It was cool because when I got off the uh, turnpike, the uh, Horsham police were nice enough to follow me all the way here to make sure I was safe enough to get to you, so that's good. Now you can take that light off my son's forehead if you don't mind us sleeping. Um, anybody else got kids in the car? Mm -hmm. I knew to roll the window up. Uh, this is dope. I didn't expect this. They said it was a brewery. I didn't know nothing was being brewed, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't look up the definition of a brewery before I got here, but I'm sure this is a house. <laughs> um, it's COVID. But uh, speaking of COVID, this is good to be out again seeing faces. I see two masks. It's all right. Whatever, whatever you don't have, you're going to have in the morning because of us. So it's, it's good. But uh, this is good. I mean, what is this, like season three of COVID? <laughs> so four of Horsham. This is, this is cool, man. Getting back out, seeing faces again. You know, um... For a long time, like we struggled, like comedians, we were doing like virtual shows and shit like that. <laughs> but the uh, rapid test, but the uh, <laughs> the clubs and stuff, they just reopened. So like you know, we getting back out, um, traveling. Accommodation sucked though. Like you, you ever been on Spirit Air? You ever been on that shit? Yeah. It's like public transportation in the sky. It is a uh, it's a mega bus with wings on it. <laughs> but I knew Spirit was some bullshit because they picked me up from that Walmart in South Philly. <laughs> But for $10 to go to Africa, you can't beat that. Dude. Take me to the motherland. This is dope. For $10 more, they was going to let me fly the fucking plane. Huh? Like, shit is crazy. It's wild. You got to watch Spirit, though. He's like, you, you got to make sure all your boxes are checked off. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got, like, small. Everybody says it's like Spirit has a lot of small fees. Um, I was flying this one time down to Orlando, and I noticed we was in the air for like five days. So I looked at my ticket. I only checked to have one wing. We were just going in a circle. It was five more dollars. I could have got there in three hours. What the fuck is Spirit? You know some other bullshit about Spirit too. They lost my luggage going and coming to Philly. But when I got back to Philly, I saw the pilot. He had my jeans on. I was like, out of the car. It's some bullshit right here. This is... But it's cool. I uh, landed in Warsham a few hours ago at their international airport. <laughs> Called Willy Grove Mall. I was there. I was, I was in there shoplifting a little bit. It was cool. I guess that's why the cops followed me here. Now I'm running a Baptist church upstairs in a brewery. This is dope. This is fucking dope. Matter of fact, pass the collection plate around. <laughs> Me and my son need to get home. Who from Philly here? Who from Philly here? Right, so, right, yeah. You got run for my son? Like, oh, he ran out of gas. I just came upstairs to see what y'all was doing. Like, oh, shit. Like, here, take the mic. Uh, all right, fuck you. Um, now I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My, uh, my dad, he's from uh, South Philadelphia. Born and raised on the playground is where he spent most of his life. Um, my mom, she's from a foreign country. Like, there's a lot of violence and shit like that. Like, y'all probably seen on the news. It's called North Philadelphia. Like, it's, just, it's rough. It's rough. Um, I, had, I went to my mom's earlier, and I had to pass through all these drug dealers to get to my drug dealer. I was like, Man, this shit. can you move off my mom's steps? Like, she's like, that's my drug dealer. Like, uh, you know how bad, like, North Philly is kind of, like, sketchy, like, because you got Temple there, so it kind of throws you off. 
but it's like Fortnite with books. It was like, that shit was scary, I'm telling you. I was driving through there earlier, I seen two guys sitting on some steps, but there was no house behind the steps. <laughs> How do Domino's deliver? Like, this shit is weird, man. I don't know. Where y'all from then? Because y'all not from... Is Norristown. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so that's obviously a gang. <laughs> well, uh, I, I would ask what part of Norristown, but it don't matter. Um, oh, wait. Norristown a little sketchy, too. Cause <laughs> The train station right there. Yeah, that, shit, yeah. that shit is like thriller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is crazy. I got off the train and I was like, fuck it, I'm going with the train. <laughs> Don't leave me here. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was scary out there. Yeah. I've never seen a uh, rap video film with the train conductor before. Wow, you know. <laughs> wow shit, man. Wow. So, where else y'all from? Where are you from? Uh, Yardley. Yardley, that's cool. Nope. All right. Where you guys from? From Yardley. From Yardley? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so y'all came together? Yeah. Y'all carpool? Or, uh, yeah. Okay, good. See, so, yeah, COVID's over. So, <laughs> they, you start carpooling again? But they try to reinst reinstate, like, put COVID back in Philly. Like, they're like, you guys gotta put masks on and shit. That was Monday. Huh? Yeah, Monday night, we said, fuck out of here. And Tuesday, they said, you don't have to wear masks anymore. <laughs> Here is the new national anthem in Philly. Like, no, but we, I knew that shit wasn't gonna last. I mean, some of us still, I, I never quarantined, so I wasn't wearing no mask. I was like, fuck it. I mean, I did quarantine, but I didn't. <laughs> like, anybody here, who's vaccinated here? I gotta be honest, I'll shut the door. <laughs> A couple of y'all ain't clap. Uh, who, who's not vaccinated? It's alright, because this shit's over. You're not vaccinated? All right, all right. So the rest of y'all just in between shots? <laughs> Different people took the needle in different ways. Like I, I remember, like the president got it. I'm like, he's too old to feel this shit. Like, you know, <laughs> he took the needle and said thank you. Like who does that? Like, it was a fucking needle, dude. So I, I went to um, to the Dollar Tree and got my needle. <laughs> in fact, it wasn't even a needle. They gave me a chewable. I'm like, oh shit. And just let it dissolve on my tongue. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just know I had hair down the hair before I took that my hair. My hair used to come down here, and then I took that fucking. Dollar Tree vaccine, man. This is crazy. Man. I had to get my son out of the car. Like, look, I feel weird, man. I feel weird. Uh, anybody date during the pandemic? Anybody find love under the mask? Anybody? Yeah, you dated? Did you? Did, yeah, did you use like. I'm married. Oh. You overdated. Alright, so. <laughs> it was like, the chicken didn't get cooked, it's done. Like, it was, no, yeah, did, you, did you date during the pandemic? I met Logan. Oh, during the pandemic? Yeah. Oh shit, he brought you here. <laughs> Seventh date love. Like, come upstairs, I got jokes. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what's up. Like, where did you meet him at, though? Cause I, well, we went to high school together. All right, and then y'all reconnected. Yeah, he dumped me the first time. Okay. <laughs> Shut that door. That shit, that shit. <laughs> Logan out there sliding down a wall like a, a fucking 90s rap video. He just said, <laughs> Like, oh. Damn, he don't you know this. Hey, look at that. We need something to help. I was waiting for Logan to come through the door. And here, out here doping people and bringing them back. Like, fucking thriller. Like, all right, whatever. But y'all together now, that's cool. So y'all got back together when there was nobody left and... <laughs> he said he has COVID. <laughs> he just took a test. Hey, Logan. <laughs> oh, that's what's up, man. I, I try to get back with my exes, but... I owed her money, so I was like, fuck it. <laughs> They're like, is your son still in the car? Like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> fuck out of here. Um, no, that's what's up, though. Man. Um, I did date a little bit during the pandemic. I was dating, uh, I don't know, I, it was a, like a younger chick. Like, I didn't have to do homework or nothing, but she was young. And, uh, <laughs> no, it was me being 72. It was like, <laughs> no, black don't crack, it just pills on the side. <laughs> No, she was she was younger. Like she couldn't cook. Like who's who? who anybody here under thirty? Anybody under thirty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you under thirty. Y'all y'all together? Yeah, he look hungry. Uh, <laughs> younger women can't cook. 
man, it ain't you. I'm saying specifically, just all of you. It's like <laughs> I had this girl. She was young. She had made me some spaghetti. This shit had bones in it. I'm like, <laughs> what TikTok recipe were you reading? <laughs> Eat food. It's just crazy. Then I I, uh, I had started dating older women because older women can like older. I'm talking like death baby. I mean, this woman. <laughs> from the SBCA, she was, she was nice, she was nice for the first three weeks. And then she made me a grilled cheese sandwich, they had to put her down, I was like, this is bullshit. I had to get my son out of the car, I'm like, yo, man, help me get this video. My son was taking a church change, I'm like, bro, you gotta chill, dude, this is, it's crazy. I do, I miss her, though, I miss her. Um, she wasn't like a regular cougar, though, she was like a thundercat. This lady was, she was like a pamper thong, all that shit, man, it was weird, man. Just to watch the little beat gravy run down our leg. Uh, uh, Alright, that's enough. Um, <laughs> no, but I realized like after she passed away, I'm like, yo, you know what it is? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe this is a Baptist church. Everything's funny. So, no, I, I had started, started dating, um, I don't mean to put my hand on it, like, plus size women. This, uh, this chick, no, she wasn't like regular plus size. She was like one of the real housewives at Old Country Buffet. She was the first chick to make me a hot dog from scratch. Like, it was, it was crazy, man. She, no, fat, fat lives matter. Fat lives matter. That was, that was, that was, no. I don't know, man. Speaking of black porn, so during the pandemic, during the pandemic, I, I got caught up. My phone just, you know, like most of us in here, man. Um, start watching a little bit more porn. And I noticed, um, you came right into the right part. Thank you. Um, black porn has storylines now, which is good. That's, that's, that's big. Because you know? everything used to be by the swimming pool. And then we all know black people can't swim. It's fictional. It's fictional porn. That's all. That's what they used to call it. But now, now they got storylines. Now, what we have not mastered yet is that pizza box. Shit, dude. I know that. You got it too, huh? Rap, rapid test. Um, no, did she call him then? You called him. I'm gonna call this COVID corner right here. Little... But, um, no, nah, man, so like, I, I, you know, you watch porn if you watch it. And, uh, <laughs> the men, like, the, all right, so the ladies in the house, she never orders the pizza, but the pizza man just showed, this is funny, right? This is funny. She knows what I'm talking about. The lady is always half dressed, and she goes to the door, and the pizza man is there. And,. He starts talking to her, and he's just talking like dumb shit. I'm like, the pizza getting cold. But anyway, I'm always worried about the pizza. Right? The young girl cooking the spaghetti bones. I need food. So they um they they they, they always say um, hey, so you order pizza, and the woman says I guess, and then he says you sure you didn't order pizza, and then she's like maybe I did order pizza, and then he says what kind of pizza, and then. He says sausage, and then he opens a box, and yeah, his dick comes right through this hole in the box. Now, I've been through the pandemic, like, because, like, they were short staffed. I was going in different places, like Papa John's and Domino's and Pizza Hut, and I was looking underneath the boxes, and there is no perforation for your penis. So I was like, you know what? You just gotta have a strong dick. So one day, I got boxes from all these places, because you can shoplift, like, when they're short handed. And, no, see, you're just going like, hey, is that my food? And they turn around and just snatch a box and run out. And you need somebody in the car. So my son is in the car. He the like, take this shit, roll the window up. I go to Papa John's. Come on, man. Work with me, not against me. So I went home that night and I practiced going through these boxes. And after losing two pints of blood, I was like, you know what? This shit is only for porn. This is only for porn. Speaking of black porn, so now, black, I watched this one last week called Meat on the Streets. <laughs> Not meat, like shake hands, it was real meat on these streets. It was, shut that window, my son is in the car. So. Somebody probably think I'm praying or something, like what is he doing? Like James Harden has a room full of people, but left Toronto and came right here and just started. No, but um, did y'all pass the collection play around? <laughs> That, huh? No, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm like, I'm, I'm watching this shit, and now, like, black porn got beds now. Yeah, so this is it's all upgrade, and the cord doesn't come through the lady's butt anymore. Like, they conceal all that shit somehow. They make sure you don't see a wire or 
an extra dude in a room, none of that shit. Second penis kills me too. That second penis that always comes in from nowhere, like fix air fryer food, it just comes right in. Speaking of air fryers, who in here got an air fryer? That's what I really was trying to get to. Who got an air fryer? Come on. Yeah, do you use it? Yes. Okay. All right. She's serious about that air fryer. What are, anybody else? Nobody else? You got air fryer? What are you making your air fryer? Nothing. It sits downstairs. Well, it was a gift, wasn't it? Yeah. Not from him, hopefully. No. Okay. All right, all right. You guys got an air fryer? No, sir. No? You got to get one, man. Seriously. So get you an air fryer. Y'all don't have none of y'all have air fryers? This shit is the worst yeah. infomercial. Huh? You got one? Don't use it. Everything, yeah, so you know, look, you don't have, right, I see tears in your eyes. With, you, you, you don't have an air fryer? No, go to her house, she got one. This is, you put anything in there, seriously, I put a loaf of bread in there, still in the plastic. Open this shit up and the Popeye's chicken sandwiches in there. Oh, shit! This is amazing. Fucking amazing. Who are the people downstairs? I, uh, I wanted to ask questions. I'm like, fuck it. Uh, yeah. Are they pouring drinks or are they waiting for me to come back down? I don't know. But he came with the cops. Like, it is. No, it's cool. It's cool. Um, I did ask, I, I, we have Philly people here, Yardley, Norristown. Um, any, any other spots? Anybody else? Any, anywhere else? Really? Any Jersey people here? Yeah, no, yeah. Was that a yes? Yes. It is a yes. What part of Jersey are you from? Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill. Oh, okay. We got gangs over there too. <laughs> so you drop you have to drop to Camden? No, I just said the turnpike. You ever been in, in that aquarium in Camden? <laughs> yes. That's the first place I ever seen a filet of fish in the water. I see it. <laughs> This shit was a real fish. Like, it, was, it had the bread on the back. And it was fucking, the fucking water. I said, is that a phileo? It's a fucking phileo. My son, I had to get my son out of the car. Like, this motherfucker's got two phileos in here. Man. My son had tartar sauce too. He said, let me do it. Let me do it. Just feed the fish. Look like, look like sperm going through the water. Get to the fish. Stop. I don't know what sperm is. Like. Stop. If you've never seen a Phileo live, don't go to Camden, because you got to park somewhere. You don't want to park in Camden. Either. Camden got one Rite Aid, one cop, one aquarium. You don't want that. None of that shit. Like, is that Rutgers? Pow, pow, oh shit. Rutgers is bad. You only had to pay your student loans back if you went to Rutgers. They're like, we understand. You did, you did good. You did good. I told you, this, this is the corner right here. He coughed now. This is. I gotta come back sometime. I gotta, it's gonna come back. But you, I don't even wanna ride home with him anymore. <laughs> like, you're at least dad was. Uh, man. Do we have an Easter this year? I don't even know. This COVID shit just took everything from us, man. This is wild. Uh, holidays. But it did bring us together other ways, man. We was, we was all looting and, I mean, we were all, we were all like, you know, up on news, but we, I, th I do think it did bring us closer, honestly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like religion, all that shit didn't matter. We trapped in the house and we had to come out with all these fucking rules and shit. But it, it, I, I feel like a lot of shit went out the window. Like, you know, race and, and uh, religion, you know, whether you're Jewish or Baptist, Christian, Girl Scout, like it really, <laughs> the shit just made us tighter as, as a group. And that's why I need y'all to pass that collection kit. I'm trying to get to the main point, pass this shit around. Somebody's holding money here. Just want to go. They say, what do you gotta get a church? 10%? Yeah. Like, you just looked at me like, what fucking church? <laughs> Never mind. Atheist room. Uh, no. Was, no, I, I tried to give them a temper. Well, no, I didn't. I, took, I don't go to church. I, I mean, I want to go. Uh, yeah, not right now. I got shit to do. Plus, I got fucking spare air is coming to get me in a couple minutes. So it's going to be landing on this roof soon. So. Who going back to Philly? Three dollars. You can get on the flight. Landing Bullet Grove International Airport. He was Logan back there. Logan, man. Got some news, man. So you um, you found love in the pandemic. Yes, I did. But I heard you reloved. Oh, man. Yeah. She was like, no, Logan did break up with me, and then I found him. Wait, how old are y'all? 
Twenty. I'm twenty six. Oh, you're twenty six. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was meant to happen. But uh. this is dope, though, that y'all came back together, man. And Logan just sat in the house and read the Bible the whole time he was away. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Logan, like, let me get the fuck out of here, man. Logan probably got a son of the girl. I gotta tell you something, baby. <laughs> Speaking of pizza box, I'm like, no, I'm gonna start that shit. Um, no, man, it, it shit got crazy, though. My son was in virtual school. Anybody have that shit? Virtual school? That shit was horrible. My, but he did good. I don't know how from the car, but he did good. I was, <laughs> the Wi-Fi reaches. <laughs> I've seen him a couple times holding the Chromebook out the window like, fuck, come on, Dad. <laughs> Jesus, I love him the house one day, man. He had to, uh... He was in the kitchen and shit. He was swinging a frying pan. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I'm in virtual gym. I'm like, look, give me the Chromebook. Let me just. You want to virtual summer school this year? You know what I mean? You're not gonna pass every class. It's, sorry, it's just, you're asking a lot of me. You're in the house too. It's just, uh, fucking cat don't know you. It's weird. That's not my cat lies, man. I, uh, it's weird, man. No, but this is this is this is cool though, man. Um, being upstairs, I mean being here. Guys, man. Seriously, I, um, I've learned a lot though um, these last couple of years. Um, what's elections? All this shit. It's like I don't even care who y'all voted for. Just stop voting. It doesn't even matter. It don't matter. We're just gonna pay more for gas at some point, and we're gonna fight somebody. It's a war. Like, do y'all think we're gonna wind up going to Ukraine like we, like us, like our soldiers are gonna go? No, no. We're sending a lot of money there though. Yeah, like I, I used to donate to WHYY and they used to send me shit back too, but I used to at least get a teddy bear or a Grover doll or some shit like that. Like, I'm showing my age. They're like, who the fuck is Grover? <laughs> Do y'all know about Sesame Street? Did they have Sesame Street? <laughs> they have Sesame Street? Man? Kids don't even watch TV no more. That's what I'm asking. Like, my son was like two. He's like, where the fuck is my tablet, bitch? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you want the chewable tablet or what are you doing here? It's weird, man. It's like, they skip cartoons and all that, man. Seriously. Like, what, what was your favorite cartoon growing up, man? Uh, first, uh, oh, shit. What do Okay. You yeah. watch porn. Look, what's the. Uh, <laughs> what look, man. That's a porn name right there. It's like, like, what is my. Like, right, what's, what's your, what is your favorite cartoon before Logan left? What what'd you like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like Courage the Cowardly Dog. Who? Cowardly Dog? Yeah. 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 All right. You might be Spanish or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite cartoon? Uh, uh, come on, these people gotta come upstairs and get me. I like Lamb Chop. Lamb Chop? Okay. All right. All right. All right. A little puppet porn shit? Right. Yeah. Everything goes back to porn. Um, <laughs> no man, I'm a, I'm a wrap it up though. I uh, I actually went to uh, anybody travel during the pandemic? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you guys go? Everybody went somewhere. Yeah. Beach. Beach. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where'd y'all go? Florida. Florida. I was in Florida. You can tell. I was in Florida. They they didn't believe in COVID. I was down here in February. I went to Miami and I seen homeless people chewing on rapid tests and just throwing them in the air. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we need those up in Philly. Like, <laughs> Fill our right aids up. That shit was weird. Like we really were out of home tests, right? Rapid tests, and they were down there playing with them. So it was, it was kind of wild, man. But um, it's like I went to Florida. I was like, I must have went to get COVID when I look back on it and shit. But they, they just didn't believe in the shit, man. But again, Spirit went there for thirteen dollars. So. <laughs> COVID me, please. <laughs> Still waiting for that plane to come back. I had to walk home. Uh, <laughs> They check the right box. They said you got the Harriet Tubman round trip. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I gotta get my son out of the car. Come on, let's go. We walk. Put your sneakers on. All right, listen. Um, before I go, I do want to say this. Make sure y'all support Logan. Support live stand-up comedy. Uh, whether it's upstairs in the house, <laughs> that's a brewery. <laughs> um, no, seriously, because if not, these dudes they gonna sell drugs. No, just. <laughs> They still gonna sell drugs anyway. But there's be less cops involved. No, but uh, no, please, not even just comedy, live entertainment in general. Get out, um, you know, uh, help businesses again. Help me and my son, like help people again. And I mean, I, today I was a little under the weather. I didn't tell Logan. I was like, I ain't coming here. But I was like, I'm not gonna let no little STD kick in the house. <laughs> Drank some water and walked up these steps, man. But listen, y'all been great, man. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for seeing Logan.
show, however, is May 20th, all right, the week before Memorial Day. Also, I can't run this show by myself, all right, so everybody give it up for my man on the ones and twos, Pat Brogan, all right, he helped me put this whole thing together, all right, he's a fantastic comedian, but we didn't want him to go up because we were afraid he'd scare you, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, Mel was completely right, I will be selling drugs after this. You guys have a great night, all right, thank you.